Tonight, some different views of local Republican members of Congress on how Tennessee, on how the U.S. should respond to the events surrounding Syria. Good evening and thanks for watching News Channel 9 at 530. I'm Latricia Thomas. And I'm Josh Rosen. Senator Bob Corker supports the president and U.S. intervention. Representative Scott Desjardins believes a wait-and-see approach is more appropriate. News Channel 9's Drew Balea had a chance to speak with both men and has that story. All sides of the Syria debate in Congress agree that the gassing of innocent Syrians is a tragedy. But as I found, still up for debate is what the U.S. should do about it now. The details surrounding a chemical attack in Syria more than two weeks ago remain muddled in controversy. Upon review of the classified documents and the briefing, I'm still the position that we don't need to get involved in Syria. Today, Representative Scott Desjardins told me he's still not clear exactly who ordered the chemical attack. He's not certain it was Syrian President Assad. There is opposition forces that would love to drag America into this war. But Senator Bob Corker told me last week he's personally convinced. I do think the administration feels strongly that uh, there's no question the Assad regime has used chemicals against their citizenry, and I think we're going to respond, and, and I support that. And he's not the only one. High-ranking Republican officials stated their position today. Both Speaker of the House John Boehner and Senate Minority Leader Eric Cantor said they support the president's use of military action in Syria. Desjardins says the classified evidence he's been shown proves to him that this attack wasn't widespread. I don't see where the Syrian regime is posing a direct threat to America or its allies at this point. But he says he fears bombing Syria could have wider consequences. I think that Israel would be a prime target. I think that you could see an increase in terrorist activity here in the United States. Desjardins says a wait and see approach is more effective in the short term and that more concrete facts could lead him to change his position. If there is a mass use of chemical weapons where it's obvious that uh, Assad is just indiscriminately gassing innocent people, I don't think this will be a tough decision. Meanwhile today, Senator Corker met privately with President Obama. He emerged from that meeting saying he had a strong sense the White House and the Senate will be able to come to terms on the authorization of military force in Syria. Corker said a new resolution could be released as early as later tonight. Drew Balea, News Channel 9. And other local lawmakers are chiming in on that issue. Tennessee Congressman Chuck Fleischman says, having spoken to constituents across the 3rd District, they have made it clear that they are war-weary. While the actions taken by the Assad regime are absolutely deplorable, we must have a clear objective before engaging in military action. Meanwhile, President Obama met with congressional leaders today to discuss the possible strike in Syria. President laid out his plan. He assured them he wants to send a clear message to Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's regime. During the meeting, he said that his plan would allow the U.S. to degrade Syria's chemical weapons capabilities while keeping the U.S. out of a larger war. I'm going to be uh, working with Congress. Uh, we have sent up a draft authorization. We're going to be asking for hearings and a prompt vote, and I'm uh, very appreciative that everybody here uh, has already begun to schedule hearings uh, and uh, intends to take a vote uh, as soon as uh, all of Congress comes back uh, early next week. The president also says failing to hold Syria accountable would send a message that international rules are meaningless when using nuclear weapons. Many of you are sounding off on Facebook telling us what you think should be done in Syria. Beverly Renee Lindsay writes, this is not our fight, this is their fight. We need to stay home and mind our own business. We have enough problems here that need attention and problem solving. Gee whiz. When are we going to learn? But others, of course, have different opinions. Don Tanner writes, I am for peace. Unfortunately, though, no country believes in it. You fight for what you believe in. You fight to protect what is yours. You fight to help the defenseless. I don't want to see or be a part of another way, but sometimes it is wrong to turn your back and pretend nothing is going on. Of course, we always want to know what you think. Just head to our Facebook page to leave your comments.